Are you ready for Rwanda? Yali, here we come. <laughs> Bye. Finally in Rwanda after a four and a half hour flight. It's beautiful. Good morning, day one officially in Kigali and we're about to go get breakfast and then start off the day. We're doing a city tour, going to the genocide memorial and I think a couple of other things. Prime Minister was against the idea of the genocide, but how our fellow people, including the, the, the top leaders of the government, took a decision to kill her and also her protectors. And uh, the, behind us, you, you will see ten pillars. Those pillars represent each of the soldiers. genocide was only through uh, a brainwashing, dehumanizing, uh, state-sponsored pro program. Let me, let me call it that. The process of the genocide that took years and years that people grew up in uh, not only brainwashes you, but also works on the, on the physical senses. You understand? So your eyes sees your former classmate as a snake. Simply because you grew up being told that Tutsis were states. This is a room with pictures of people who were killed in the genocide. The next thing was the children's room, which was really emotional because so many children died in the genocide in very brutal and horrific ways. It was definitely a really heart-wrenching part of the center. There were also exhibitions showing some of the other countries where genocides had taken place. I just finished taking a tour. This is the second time I've been here and it's no less somber, no less sad, no less tragic than it was the first time. I did out again today with my lovely little idea. to head out um, to a few stops actually we're going to Kivu we're going to Kisei quick stop to get some things at the supermarket and then we're gonna hit the road what's your name Moses I run this small shop by working with people cooperatives which makes those those uh, not jewelry jewelry I make myself those other sculptures and other artworks. <laughs> I decided to choose one of the things that I can make myself. So I end up with jewelry because, first of all, it's a good market for women and they are best buyers of the world. So, <laughs> and it's also easy to carry, easy to transport. Just and it's a daily business. Yeah. Lovely weather. Nice and warm. Serene. Clean, clean hair. Having a good time? Yes. Okay, so we're at the Diane Posse Gorilla Fund at the Karisoka Research Center, which is kind of a tribute to her life and all the work that she did with gorillas while she was still here in Rwanda. This place is gorgeous. What do you think? The views, fantastic. I 
arrivals from Congo, you see that is the signpost. So behind me is Congo and in Rwanda. We just kind of put our hand across the border. So we're about to leave um, the border area from Goma, which is the east of Congo, yes. and Gisein, which is the western province yes. of Rwanda. 